let's say we want to add a link. Let's say click here to register. So make your text, then highlight it, and come up here to this little link button here. If you click that, then it brings up your link options. So the URL, we'll just make it, let's just say google.com for now, but you know, you would type in whatever the website is you want that link to go to. And then target, do you want it to open in a new window or in the same window? A lot of times you want a new window so that people still have your website up when they come back to it. So do that, hit insert, and now you can see it's purple and has a line under it. And now we'll go preview it and see if that link works. So let's hit preview, and it's going to show us what this page is going to look like. So here's our bold header, here's our image, here's our text, and here's our link. So let's click it and see if it goes to Google as a separate window. Yes, it does. Okay, so that worked. We've got that content. What else can we do up here? Let's say we want to uh, add another paragraph. We'll just copy and paste this stuff here. Let's say we want to change the color. We'll go up here to the color options. So we make this dark green. Easy. Um, let's say we want to make this a block quote. We hit block quote. You can see it does the indenting thing. So sort of make give it a cool look. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do our spell check. Oh, well, we're writing in Latin, so I guess obviously we got a problem uh, with the spell check, but that's where you could do it. And uh, other than that, let's just add a couple bullet points. Here's uh, reasons why you should come. Reason number one, it's awesome. Reason number two, it's free. Reason number three, it's local. Great. So now you can highlight those bullet point options, click bullets, and there they are. There's your bullets. Um, you could also highlight those items and have them numbered. Just like in Word, uh, you know, Microsoft Word, it's the same way, um, same kind of formatting thing. So all that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. Just play around with these, you'll figure it out. There's also an option to paste direct from Microsoft Word to try to keep the formatting. But uh, a lot of times, formatting gets lost, then you have to do it again, which is okay. Just, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So just be ready to change some bolds and some italics and things like that. So this is our new page. Do we want comments on this page? I usually like comments just on my blog, not my actual pages. So I'm going to unclick that box. And now we're going to go ahead and hit publish. You can see the little hourglass there while it's publishing. So it get, tells us up here it was successful. Let's go over here, hit reload, and see if our page, here it is, seminars and events. Let's take a look. Here's our content right there. Click to register, bullet points, cool pictures. So we've successfully added a page, added content, and if you were doing a blog too, let's say you were doing a blog post, it works, it looks just the same way, except you don't end up in a page, you end up in a post. So new blog post content here add your images this is how you do it now let's say we want to add an image we've already uploaded we click the add image button but then instead of selecting the option that asks us if we want to upload it from our computer we go over here to media library this is where we can select all of the content that we've already uploaded to our site in the past so here's swoopy image click show and it gives you some more info and you say, is this the one you want? Yeah, but I want, I want it set, I want it let, just a tiny little thumbnail. Click it, insert into post, and there it is as a thumbnail, a square image. So that's how you would do it from content that you already have. Um, same with video and your other media. You can manage all that content over here by clicking media library. We're not going to save this. And this will show you all of your images and things that you've uploaded. So those are the basics. Um, you can always go back to your dashboard to see if you have stuff you haven't posted yet. Here's our post right here that we haven't published. So we'll just hit save draft for now. And then you can always go back to your site. Make sure you reload it fresh and see your content. And uh, what you see is what you get. Good luck. Check out our other videos.